County Sheriff Blair Weaver, Madison County Sheriff John Mayer, Madison County Fire Chief Eric Turner, and Sheriff Weaver, come first, please. Thank you for coming. Um, we have found Noah Chambers. He was located about one half mile from his home where he went missing from. Family's been notified. And uh, Chief, we just ask that you uh, keep the family in your prayers and all the first responders that work this scene in your prayers. And that's, you know, and we ask you to just bear with the family. The family is grateful for everybody, all the volunteers, and everybody that came out. Just uh, as Steve said, keep them in your prayers. I'm going to turn it over to the families, pastor, and let Andy, Andy talk to you just a minute. Guys, first of all, the family wants you to know um, all the volunteers, all the volunteers and the countless hours that everybody searched. Um, so many people that donated, uh, whether it be food, drink, um, batteries, everything. They just said that they wanted to make sure everybody knew how much they appreciated that. Um, and they want Noah's life to be honored in the fact that, you know, he, he, he brought a community together. And um, they're asking right now that they have time uh, to... Uh, mourn and to love on each other and, and go through this time of loss. Um, but in the same, uh, they beg for you to continue to pray. Uh, continue to pray and continue to keep this heart of service, this heart of uh, compassion for other other, peop other people and other humans. And they just uh, are overwhelmed by how many people have uh, turned out to, to search for their son. So uh, our prayers go to the family, and again, we thank you. And I, I would also like for people to know, don't start rumors. Don't start anything that cause family grief, because they're grieving enough. And uh, if, you, if you do that, search your own soul, and uh, put yourself in their shoes, because that's not the thing to do. They all they are very uh, faith-oriented family, and it's remarkable to see their faith in God. And uh, it's tough. It makes us look at our own. So uh, just uh, you know, think about the family pray for them. Could you talk a little bit about the area where you found him and that kind of stuff? No, we're he's a good little girl, like you said. Found something from a house. And, uh, you know, everybody we know that we, we talk to, and, and Sunday school teachers and all, talked about how determined he was, how fast he was, and how, how much energy and stamina he had. It was just remarkable. You know, he's, that he has been located. Was this an area that y'all had already searched previously, or is it new, new territory? This was an area we had expanded our search into. Like I said earlier in the earlier press conferences, every day we expanded our search further and further. Uh, this was an area, it was on the outskirts of what we had searched, and we were back searching it for the second time. Uh, it was right on the borderline of where we'd been searching, and we expanded it on out further. Can you tell us how, how it was located? Uh, doing a grid search uh, on foot, and uh, they walked up on it. Do you all believe any foul play was involved? No, no. Just a tragic accident. Can you guys comment now? I know you couldn't yesterday on what evidence led you to believe that he was in the woods. We had some tracks, had some tracks, and some dog scents, some dog scents. The weather, you know. I, I Maybe they're just talking on the way over. You know, help us. 
and we couldn't have stayed around the clock since this thing started without that extra help because you know people had to stop every once in a while and take a break and get some sleep and we couldn't have kept it going without that extra help and we appreciate it. Yeah, we'll, we will say we've been involved in lots of searches. Uh, Western City is the greatest place there is. And all the law enforcement we got from Springfield, Missouri this year with his dogs and they came all the way and been here working it. We said we've never seen this before. Despite the circumstances, are you all glad that you were able to find them still? Absolutely. Of course. That was our that was our prayer that before we left we would find it. And that was the prayer last night at the vision. It's not the outcome we wanted, but we felt like we got some peace by having him on. It was going to be hard for us to pull out. We discussed it for two or three days. And we knew that it was something that had to be done because of the weather and, and safety issues. And it was what it, it was carrying a toll on us to think we was going to leave and leave him out there. Yeah, we discussed that with the family. The family unit was aware they understood. Of them, very understanding. And their their concern was for the rescuers as much as anything else. And they were and, and you know, I was hammered for seven before, but they had faith. They had faith the entire time and, and, and that's what Sheriff Mayor said. It's they're very faith oriented people and that's that's probably a good thing. That's what it's gonna put. That's what it's gonna put. So are y'all thinking that he just ran off playing? You got disoriented? That's <coughs> all that happened to him and he just ran off with everybody with doctors. Just like Grandma said, he just she turned around for a minute he was gone. There's trails everywhere. Like you know, even had people tell us even the adults would run after him, they couldn't catch him, he got running. I'm witness <laughs> to that. Was was there a specific lead that led you to to the spot or is it just kind of part of the grid it's search? This was the search as the chief said. Just kept on expanding, and you know, we've gone miles and miles. What we try to do is we search tight nets, glass seam area, and we just keep expanding that. But we try to do it, you know, very thoroughly so we don't miss anything. So this is this we just kept expanding. And I'll be honest with you, this is further away than than we than I felt like. But we had to keep expanding, and that's why we do that. Was he near a trail? Well, a clearing. Somewhere that he could have stayed on fairly solid, clear oh, ground. Was, oh, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. I've said before that the, how much I appreciate the other agencies, but, and we all have always, through the years, worked together very good. But Sheriff Mayor has been there uh, the entire time, and, and Chief Turner, um, Madison County, don't have lucky they are to have them. Uh, what they got, Chief Turner had. Without that grid search and things, it would have been virtually impossible. And, 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 and Madison County Health Department. And Madison County Health Department. The EMA, and, the EMA, and, EMA and all the all the people. Too, too many to mention. It's uh, way too many. We can't we can't name everybody that's involved in all the agencies. It's, it's just remarkable. You guys commented on the this bringing the community together, the whole West Tennessee together. Any indication from the family that this is going to be a public funeral? And they, they don't want to discuss it at this time. You know, they, they're uh, in agreement, and uh, it's not the time. You said that he was farther away than you expected to find him. You guys started the search pretty quickly. Do you think he was continuing to move away as you guys were searching closer? Yeah, I'm sure it was. Yeah. And when I, when I, in saying that, it's just, you know, we get statistics of how far a young man of certain ages will, will move or a grown up will move, and that's what we have to kind of go by. So that's that's how we start. But like I said, we keep continuing that because we don't know that for sure. And of course, all of Facebook said he's going to do that. <laughs> Based on those statistics, how long do you think he was continuing to move? You know, that's hard to say because uh, that all depends on the you know the strain, which was rough. Um, and we don't know how fast he can move. I mean, that's, that's all subject to change or whatever. So no way, no one sure. Are you going to request an autopsy? Yes. Yes. Is that standard protocol? Yes. yes. Uh, doctor, I'm going to send a doctor for it. So I'll be here. So the autopsy. But there's no indication that foul play, no criminal investigation. No. Uh, we know that one of the uh, search. Uh, Challenges was the sinkholes in the area. Was it near a sinkhole? That no, no. So, so big ditch.
I mean, he was a spider monkey, and I mean, he was just uh, 100 miles an hour, whatever he did. And uh, I know this, that, um, and I feel confident in being able to share this, but as the mom just got through praying, you know, Jesus better have his ice skates on to keep up with him. Uh, because it's one of those things that um, he's just a bundle of joy. He's just 100 miles an hour, very tough, uh, strong kid. And so, uh, but it's, you know, just amazing family. Amazing family. Uh, with their faith in God. And, and not just in this time, but in any time. Thank you. That's it.